we will talk about how to assign the categories on the base of some criteria. So we are back to our data set where we had the cars and the, the consumption of the fuel. So as you remember, we assigned here the brand and type, so we matched the data. Now what we're gonna try to do is go to the data set vehicles and here to assign the benchmark which should be used for specific car. So this benchmark will be assigned on the basis of rules we have here. So on the basis of the capacity of the car, we will uh, assign the, the usage of the fuel which we're gonna use as a benchmark. So for example, a car with a capacity from four to five should have a benchmark of 20 as a fuel usage, 20 liters per 100 kilometers. The car which is 10 from 10 to 12 should be 25 and so on and so forth. For this, we can also use the VLOOKUP function. So what you have to do is use here as an ID or use the as a assigning criteria capacity of the car. So first I take the, the capacity of the car, which is here. Then I search for this in the benchmarks. I'll use here the method which I showed you previously. So I'm, I'm going to take all uh, columns and then I tell him to look for value in column three, which is here. And now, since there will be not exact match because you have this in intervals, then instead of zero, I'm going to use one. So as you can see, a car with zero capacity, because this is a passenger vehicle, has no benchmark. Is it true? Let's check. Yeah, it is true. Let's see how it works for the rest of the cars. So Scania, it's 30 capacity. And this is because of having above, it's 30 five the usage of fuel the trick here is to actually make this data set in a proper manner so as you can see here what we do is put here the intervals it is very important to construct uh, the table of criteria in a specific manner so here we want to have intervals which are next to each other so one finishes the other one starts in order to do this uh, we need to have a little bit trick so as you can see the beginning of this interval is defined as the end of the previous interval with some very, very small manner. It can be 0, 0.1 or it can be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1, depending on how big the value is. But this actually helps you to be very diligent in terms of defining intervals which are very close to each other. And then obviously here we put the benchmarks, whatever we want. In this manner, we manage to assign the benchmarks to a specific car. So for every car, we were able to define the benchmark he needs to have.